Hey, what's up, my dokus? Jason and you back to more Splatoon 2. Last time, we began our journey through the C line. Got, you know, up to C1, because we had to start from C3 and work our way up to C2 and then C1, so we had the, kind of the full line here. And we worked our way down to C9. This time, we're going to be continuing through and hopefully finishing up the rest of the C line. We're starting off here with C10. We have McFly Station. Do it with some style. We have to f fly the inkjet and dodge the engine until time runs out. Just making a little edit to my volume a little bit. Sorry about that. Alright, let's grab the inkjet. And yeah, I guess we have to run, uh, dodge until time runs out, so it's another one of those levels. However, we can... I do believe we can actually, you know, defeat some enemies. Or maybe not. Oh, we can defeat him. Yeah, we didn't dodge there, so... Yeah, it's basically the same scenario as the one level. Except for this time we can actually use our inkjet uh, power to kill the sniper. Damn it. There we go, much easier than last time. Alrighty, on to C11. We just have to reveal the path to reach the, or reveal the path to the goal, Abracadabra Station. I'm gonna try the bamboozler because we've never used this weapon. But yeah, as you can kind of see, uh, actually something like cool to talk about is that a lot of the names of these areas or these uh, levels in Octo Expansion kind of are based off of uh, movies. At least to me. I don't know if that's all entirely true, but a lot of the movies or a lot of the levels have names that are kind of hinted at m movie quotes and stuff like that. Like, you know, for example, this one, Abrac Devastation, Now You See Me, is actually the name, well, it's a term that's used in stuff like that. Uh, it's actually a name of a movie now called Now You See Me. But, um... And then, like, you know, McFly Station, obviously kind of feels based off Back to the Future in its title. It's interesting because, like, the, um, like, the levels don't really have much to do with the title. I guess if that makes, uh, some sense, but I don't know. It's just me, it's just how I perceive the levels. Alrighty, anyway. Here we have our launch pad. Take this up here, get another checkpoint. And we have to use this again. And just shoot all these guys down. And then we keep moving. Oh, that's trolly. Just 
take care of those just so we can get that extra. Alright. I don't know why. Sorry for being quiet, like, just for a split second there. I don't know why. I was just, like, some weird smell that I'm sensing. It's like, it's like, you know, the smell you, you get from a, uh, from one of the Switch cases. this wall here then loop over this way and we'll just bring this over here where we have a platform take a view and then we'll activate this ink rail and it should take us to our final checkpoint no, not our final one, I guess. Okay, so... We can use this, we can splatter up those... Uh... Enemies. To be uh, sorry, that was. I, I thought I was gonna die there for a second. But there does appear to be an Octo Sniper there. I'll go ahead and just kind of move around here. Take him down. And let's move up here and finish the test. As soon as you completed all or gotten all the sea line mem cakes, finished our third set. Let's let's go talk to. Uh, excuse me. Let's go talk to Isopadre and see what we can get. We got Neo Octoling boots. Pretty good. Alrighty, so our next level is going to be. Uh, C12, and of course it's also F7, and it's What's Up Dog Matchmaker Station, we have to match the shape. Alright, let's go and go with the squeezer. Yes, this one we have to match the shape, and... We have to match that shape out of those crates. So, I guess we'll start off here with the middle one. Uh, we need to knock off these, all of these. Uh, let's see here. Need to leave all three of those. Blast out that. And yes, we have one life. If we mess up even once, uh, we do get we do get a game over, and we have to try again. So this one, um, you take out the top. 
Uh, let's go work, start working on the back a little bit. Alright, looks like everything but there needs to be done. Or taken out. Take extra care when shooting out little details. Alright, there we go. Then we need to take off this top layer. Um, let's see. Guess we need to take out these on both sides. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, I know what we're missing. Or one of the things we're missing. Right there. Then what else? Okay, the tail is correct. Uh, let's just go ahead and look around here for a sec. Uh, the tail is correct. Oh, wait, it was an extra layer. Okay. There we go. Yes, head for the goal. Yes, let's. Alright, there appears to be some a new entry in the chat log. Let's go ahead and just run through that. Alrighty, there we go. Now it's time to head to Here Lies the Precious Thang, Smash and Dash Station. Slamming, you found the second thing. That is half of them. You are one bad mamma jamma. Rock on. Hmm, so the four things come in different shapes and sizes. They look like the parts of something. I can't quite a certain what, though. Alright, that's two out of the four things. But, the, you know, it's the least two things, so we gotta get back on the train. And we have to continue down the sea line. As it would seem, we have one last level left to complete, which is Stick and Move Station. We have to dodge our way to the goal. Alright, we have Dually Squelchers. So let's go ahead and head on. Alright, so we have to dodge our way to the goal.
Oh, well, that didn't work. Uh. Okay. Oh dear. Alright, let's try that again. Dang it, that... I don't know why it didn't register shooting at it, but okay. Um... Dude! I'm just gonna dodge the regular way. I don't really care. That's just extra fish eggs and or power eggs, and I'm doing pretty good with power eggs right now. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Oh dear. Alright, so... Oh, that was... a little too close for comfort. Oh, that was bad. So, yeah, we may lose a lot of uh, CQ points here because are just simply down to the fact that oh dear bad choice but yeah simply down to the fact that this is a bit of a tricky thing damn it There we go. Now we can get to the end of the level and complete the test. Well, it was definitely one of the more expensive routes. All right, seems we've unlocked the our eight lines now. And none of the four things seem to be on this one. And just as usual, I'd like to offer a reward. So let's go down and see what our reward is. Oh, it's 2,000, so we kind of get back one of the 2,000s we spent on that level. Alright, so I think just because we were having a few struggles with those beginning levels, and so it took a little time, I think we'll do one more level. However, our next line we're going to focus on is in fact... The D line, since you know it's next in the alphabet. So, let's go ahead and head into one hit station, we have to destroy all the crates in one shot. Alright, let's go ahead and go with the Elir Scope. So yeah, we kind of have to line everything up in order to shoot these all in one shot. Yeah. This is going to be a little bit tricky. There we go, I just needed to change where I was shooting. Alrighty, so that takes care of that. What is this one? Alright, we have to make good use of both your sub and main weapon to get to the goal. Slap bracelet station. 
You know what, sure, we'll end, uh, we'll end on this one, because that one was kind of short, and I also just, I don't know, I want to feel like I'm making good progress, and because we spent a little bit of time on, like, two levels specifically, I just want to, you know, be able to utilize the time, I guess. Because I, I know, I've, I know I can you know, make these episodes longer, but, like, you know, because of Xenoblade always being certain amount of episodes and everything. Um, I've just, or I guess certain length episodes, I just want to, you know, utilize my time a little more. Or not utilize my time, but like take my time with Splatoon as it is a, well, it's a trilogy series. It is uh, still something I want to take my time with. Oh, I should use my sub weapon, that's right. That's what I should be doing here. Using my sub weapon up there to unlock that. If I can get up on the ramp thing before it does that. And of course it bonks me. Toss it. There we go. That's better. Go ahead and shoot you. This way. Get ourselves another checkpoint. You guys. Um. Oh, okay. Barnacles. Alright. Climb up. You. Alright. Come up this way. And we've made it to our final checkpoint. Which seems to be a lot of timing scenarios. Oh dear. Ugh. Okay, so what do I need to do here? Oh wait, I know what I need to do. I need to throw the splat bomb, let it break down there, and quickly zoom across, and let's go ahead and finish the test. You have now unlocked nine lines. You can view them on the Deep Sea Metro map. Stations marked with the uh, icon contain one of the four things. Seek them out. All right, so we've unlocked yet another line that has one of the four things on them. It's gonna be a little bit before we get around to that. But let's go ahead and see what our reward is. Ooh, ooh 20,000, so we're increasing a little bit still, like, even though that's our second 20,000, we're still increasing a little bit. But, with that, we have, we have unlocked multiple lines here. We have, uh, 
we have the J line that we've unlocked, and we have the H line that we've unlocked. Obviously, we won't get here for, to those for a while as, where is it? This is the G line, and we need to, you know, this will be our next thing after the D line. Or, no, wait. The D lines are here. We need the E line, actually, which we don't have access to the E line now that I think about it. So we're going to have to go to the F line because we don't have access to the E, the e line yet. But yeah, we're just going to, you know, continue. So... I guess with that, next time on Splatoon 2, we're going to continue through the D-line, hopefully finishing that up. Who knows? It depends on how well these levels turn out. And then, I guess we'll head off to that F-line and try to see what we can do with that one, because I think we need the F-line or the... Uh, actually, what's down this one down here on the G-line? Okay, that unlocks the E-line. Alright. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. We're just going to continue down the lines. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Cheer up, set a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you've not already. And I will see you guys all later.